What's up guys? Hope you're doing well tonight. Want to do an update video on pre-search. It's been six months since I set up my pre-search nodes. They've been running fine. I've had to run the repair code a couple times on them. Uh, you'll find this stuff on my website and in older videos where I detailed how to set up pre-search nodes and on my website, I actually wrote a review on pre-search and just detailed everything I did when I set it up. I used some Rack Nerds VPS, but I use like the $22 per year VPS. It's really cheap for a whole year. It's only like a couple dollars a month. You do make enough pre-search from what I've found to pay for that node at the least, maybe just a little bit more. But I am going to go through that and uh, just detail, you know, how much pre-search I've been making. So you can earn money multiple ways with pre-search. You can earn it by searching and you can earn it by running nodes that the search traffic actually run through and the nodes process the search traffic. So that's the two ways that you can earn money with pre-search. I personally use it to search. You know, it pays you so many pre per search and then uh you know i also use it i run the nodes i got 27 nodes and it pays me passively to run those nodes and you know i've made like 2724 i think i've made actually more than that because i use some to make a couple of nodes like back in december january but you know i got these available here these were part of my rewards and then i had 2724 so let's look at the pre-price right now. We'll multiply that. We can kind of get an idea of what my 27 nodes have paid me, right? So let's just say I wanted to cash out pre-search coins right now. Currently ranked 484. Market cap 67 million, doing quite well. Uh, the coin itself's worth uh, 17 cents, give or take a little bit. Looking at the long-term performance, back in 2018, I had a huge... Uh, run up you know to dang like 70 something cents and then september 20 no nah, september 2021 you know up to around 40 something cents and then this year you know we kind of shot up there around 35 cents so i'm expecting this when mainnet launches to run up a little bit more you know we'll have to see how the earnings are but let's just take that 17 cents and let's look at what I got here, right? So let's calculate this really quick. We got 27.24 plus 13.84 times 0.17. I mean, that's $700. So I got 27 nodes, right? So 27 times 22. So I'm making enough. I'm making enough like in six months to pay for the nodes for a whole year. And that's just on the test net. When the main net launches, you know, hopefully the rewards will be a lot more or a little bit more. And uh, the price of pre will also go up in price, more than likely. So those earnings are going to get larger. So this is a long-term play. Uh, that's what I'm in this for. There's a ton of potential here. I mean, it's a decentralized search engine for crying out loud. It doesn't get much better than that for utility. Uh, you know, there's... A couple different utilities that I invested in but this one for a search engine everybody uses search engines like crazy pre is gonna keep growing so utility is there for sure so you know I think it's great I think it's gonna do really well they even there dropped me this totally awesome NFT for free so like a lot of places I find a lot of info uh, on Twitter if you go over there you see people hinting at the end of April being the mainnet launch. Go down a little bit. Coin Market Cap had an article that come out April 6th. Uh, guest post by Coin Market Cap. Mainnet soft launch. So if you click on that, uh, you know, it'll tell you some things, you know, like what to expect some node operator, rewards and reliability, score updates ahead, smart node routing, lots of interesting stuff. And Coin Market Cap is kind of partnered with pre search. So all they're saying here is fellow pre searchers and node operators, we're excited to begin the transition to mainnet with a soft launch phase 
of the decentralized node platform today three days ago april 6th we shifted production traffic to the test net nodes for a brief test less than an hour today as our first of many network tests to come over the next few weeks we want to thank you for your continued unwavering support this huge milestone for our project as we gear up for one of the most anticipated events this year the main net for those of you not familiar with pre-search uh, the main net is going to actually handle real search traffic through the nodes that you're running. So right now it's just running on a test net. So any pre or pre-search coins that's being paid to you are just being paid out by pre-search themselves. They're not coming as a result of search traffic to the network. So that's why the main net launch is such a big deal. And it says it here too. It's a huge technical milestone on the road to mainnet and a massive step forward for the entire crypto space towards achieving mass adoption and having a decentralized product that anyone in the world can use today with no disruption in their daily habits. So having a decentralized search engine is really huge because you get large uh, monopoly companies like Google that probably own like 90 something percent of search traffic now and when people search for certain things they can tweak that to show like results that they want to show so they can censor it to their liking um and show favoritism towards certain things especially like uh you know like political stuff uh really controversial topics ukraine russia you know like global warming any of that uh kind of stuff abortion they can tweak that the way they want. So if you got a decentralized search engine that's running on thousands of nodes, it's broke up. It's not in a centralized place that somebody can uh, tweak it and do what they want to with it and uh, make the results trend a certain way, if that makes sense. So having pre-search launch, being a competitor to Google is huge. And I think over in Europe, they've already started putting the pre-search out on a lot of Android phones in lieu of having the Google search app on there. Or they might be on there together, but that's a pretty big deal. And it's going to add to the adoption rate. It's going to speed that up. Uh, you know for mass adoption, which is cool. Uh, it tells a little bit about uh, node operators. My nodes have been having some spotty periods. They have been clicking on and off. A little bit I did have to manually update it with the repair code um, and I do got a on my website I got a review I did on pre-search how to set up a pre-search node you can go there scroll down you'll see my other video I did it's an in-depth setup guide and here's the steps I got six steps you need to follow to set it up uh, I go through all the screenshot and I got some couple other steps here too, like seven, eight, and nine, just showing, you know, what it looks like when you got putty up, which is a program you use to set up the node and run commands. I got the commands here. You can copy, uh, make sure you enter your registration code on this one initial setup code. Uh, then you got like your node registration code. You got a copy in the right there. And of course you always get the blue P once you've had a successful node set up and you see the green little sockets that'll appear. So I also got this repair code. If you ever notice your green little sockets aren't showing, they're not connected. You can pull up putty, which is this program right here. Put your IP in, go in there and run this uh, repair code. This one right here. And it'll usually either update your code, your uh, ugh, update your node to the latest version, where you'll see the blue P again. Just look out for the blue P. The blue P, remember that, it'll get you. And uh, you'll see your green socket reappear. When you're setting up a new node, now you gotta have 2000 pre to set up a new node. It was a thousand last year, but they changed it to 2000. So that's what you got to have. And I got all my links down here too uh, for pre-search, downloading Putty. If you want to use the Rack Nerds VPS. And uh, you can also buy pre on KuCoin. Highly recommend getting pre from there. I love KuCoin. I use it more than any other centralized exchange. 
and there's no KYC for American citizens. So you don't got to worry about them sending your info to the IRS or anybody like that. So they know what you're doing. The longer we can stay no KYC decentralized and crypto, the better for everybody. But I got that website set up. I spent some time putting this article together on there. So check it out. Let's go over here. Here I am on Presearch News, Twitter account. They do weekly updates. April 8th, they just had an update. You can kind of click on these if you want to. There's a YouTube channel. I just want to give like a, a brief breakdown here of just uh, mainly the mainnet launch. Everybody's kind of waiting on mainnet. That's the main thing. Like I said, it's going to be a big deal because then you're going to have real search traffic running through your nodes. So everybody's looking forward to that. It's really early right now. Really, really early. 185 million pre-stake, 60,600 nodes on the pre-search testnet network. So all these nodes are going to move over and migrate to the main net. And, uh, you know, you might have to do some kind of update code or something, but I think they're just going to migrate over automatically. That'd make it easier for everybody. Uh, cause if you got, like I got 27 nodes and if I got to do all those manually, it takes some time. I had to update a lot of them on a major update they had probably four months ago. And it took me some time because you got to pull up putty for every one of them. You got to put in your password. You got to run the code. Uh, I mainly run that repair code that I showed you on the website. And if you go to my channel and you scroll down, you go to here, you'll see this uh, pre-search node repair video. And then this in-depth detailed node setup guide, which has actually got three point... Uh, 2k views 3200 views look at those that'll give you a lot of good info about how to get started you know like i said you can get your pre-search coin from kucoin and then you can send it to your pre-search node address you hit this transfer pre it'll let you send that to there from kucoin right now all my nodes are up they're green they're connected uh, the reliability score, let me see. I think the reliability scores held up pretty good. Some of these were like in the upper eighties. Now they're like 84. I do got some that might've dropped into the sixties. And a lot of this has to do with the VPS that you're running. So like I said, I run all mine on Ragnar's VPS. I got some links in the description if you're interested. It's really cheap. It's like $22 a month right now. I'm going to look and see if I got a code. If I do got a code, I'll also post that in the description to get some money off. Um, but I don't know if they got a promotion going right now. I am in the affiliate program and they did have one like back in Christmas. It took a good bit off 15 or 20%, but I don't think they got one, but either way, $22 a year, still pretty cheap. So, I mean, I'd take advantage of that. I hadn't had no problems with it. The nodes have been running great. So guys, when I'm talking about a good VPS to use for pre-search to run your node when you set it up, go to ragnerds.com. Uh, so you want to click on VPS, then you want to go to KVM VPS, and then you're going to go down, scroll down the screen. Uh, these are deployed in Los Angeles, actually, but you can also have them in San Jose, Seattle, Dallas, Atlanta, Chicago, New Jersey, New York. Usually the closer a VPS is to the uh, location the request is coming from that is processing, the quicker it'll be. But I didn't really worry about that in this case. So I just picked like, you know, the order now, $22.99 a year. Uh, you know, if you want more than one, uh, just go back to the screen and uh, add to order again. You can just keep adding them up and it'll just add it to your uh, checkout. It's like if you hit order now, you'll see this come up right here, right? So let's say I wanted uh, I wanted one more, you know. Oh yeah, make sure uh, Ubuntu 18.04 Docker is pre-installed. So you want Docker installed because you don't want to have to do that separate. That's one good thing about pre uh, I mean, about rag nerds, uh, Docker's already installed if you pick this option. That's a Linux headless unit. That means you don't have like a graphical user interface like on your Windows computer or a Windows VPS where you log in. So 
that's why you got to use putty to interface uh, with the Linux Ubuntu server to set it up. So it's a headless unit. It don't have a graphical user interface, if that makes any sense. Uh, that might go over your head, but I think you'll understand it once you set it up because Windows is Windows, right? You go into Windows, you can see all your icons and stuff. Well, Linux, uh, these headless units, they're a little different. That's why you got to use PuTTY to set it up. So if you want another one, I would just go back over KVM, hit it again, order now. So let's go back. We want to add another one, order now, continue. So now we got two in there. We want to add another one, go back, order now, continue. Now you got three. So that's what I did when I set up multiple ones. I didn't see where you could change the quantity anywhere. So maybe it's right here. No, it just lets you edit location and operating system. So once you're done clicking all your BPSs and you got the amount in there that you want to order. See, I got four in there now. Just hit checkout. Uh, it'll take you through the process. Then you'll get this email with the IP address and it'll have the password. And that's the one you have to use in PuTTY to be able to log in. Uh, and that's where you use this code in your dashboard after you sign up for pre-search. Also got a link for pre-search, but you'll have to use this registration code. I've got mine hidden right now because I don't want people stealing my registration code. But if you hit this little I thing, you can copy it. And you'll have that information. It's going to email you from Rack Nerds once you buy the VPS. You put the IP address in PuTTY, log in. You know, it'll it'll ask you for the uh, setup code, which I got on the website. You put this registration code in that setup code. If you use the steps I got on my website or in my previous videos, you should be good to go. Just So just stick with that plan. And once you get through, you'll see a little green icon pop up. Uh, so there's some steps you got to go through there to get to that point. But once you do one, then you can do, you can do them fast. Like you can do them like every minute once you figure it out. But guys, just remember one thing. Pre-search says it on their Twitter. Imagine if everyone in New York City, Los Angeles, or any major city worldwide knew about pre-search. We're early. Have a great weekend, pre-searchers, and happy full April Fool's Day. Lots of good stuff. Main Nets coming possibly by the end of April. They've already started over on the soft main net. Uh, their Twitter's got a lot of good info. So they're also on Odyssey. So that's another thing, guys. Uh, if you have not followed me on Odyssey, be sure to go over there. I got all my videos on there. If I were to ever get canceled by YouTube or anything like that, make sure you're subscribed to me on Odyssey. That way you don't miss any great content that I got uploaded over on there also. So anytime I make a YouTube video, all my content gets uploaded on Odyssey. Odyssey is another decentralized uh, uh, project. It's actually like a decentralized version of YouTube. And they also got like their library coin that they pay you, you know, for watching videos, um, you know, stuff like that. So check it out. Uh, I've been trying to bring it up more and uh advertise it there's not many crypto people on here bit boys on here actually and maybe a couple other but not many but i think this is going to be big in the future uh mainly just due to censoring and cancel culture if people don't like something you got to say or something you represent they cancel you so check it out um that's really all i got for now uh check out pre-search my nose still running good making me passive pre look forward to the main net launch heck might even make a few more nodes so uh, anyway check out the website i got lots of good info how to set up the pre-search node check out my old youtube videos on it i got guides on that on how to set up and also how to repair if you need to do a repair there so check those out and i appreciate you guys watching be sure to like and subscribe hit notification bell and i'll talk to you later thank you